One of the most important features of DaVinci is that you can save different versions of coloring and work on different versions of coloring for the same shot. I'm going to come to this shot, reset all grades and nods. I'm going to work on two different versions of the shot, a high key and a low key version. Notice here that under the thumbnail here, you'll find that I'm on version two now. So for this version, let's increase the saturation, increase the gamma, get the lift down, add one more nod and increase saturation again. And I'm going to take the green out of shadows. So I'm going to lift here and just taking the green out. And then I'm going to add one more nod and increase saturation one more time. And I'm going to come to shadows and just take the saturation out here. Okay, this looks good. Now let's also add a window. I'm just going to have a new shot, create a window. Just going to draw a very fast shape around the boat. Feather it. And I'm going to track it. Okay, nods, I'm going to add an outside nod and just bring it down a bit. Come to the boat here, reduce the saturation. Okay, this looks good. Now, we're working on this version, but we want to work on another version, which is the low key version now. I'm going to right click here and go to local versions and create a new version. This is going to be version four, so version two and version four. Now, once I clicked yes, now I have a new version here, which is version four. Now I'm going to reset everything. Now this was automatically saved to version four. A very important shortcut here is command N and command B. And what this will do is will, it will actually take you through different versions of your grade so you can compare them together. So I'm going to command an N and I can actually scroll through, through the different versions that I have and command B to go the other way. The two nice features here is that versions save the tracking data. Let's take a look at our power window. And even though that we worked on a different version, this is still tracked. And the other beautiful thing is that I can continue working and I don't have to worry about saving anything. So if I come to this uh, look again and I add a new node here and I go to log mode and just change anything. Okay, now it's changed. I don't have to save anything. So if I go back to the other version by uh, hitting command and B and I come to this one, you see all the changes are saved. And if I go to this version, which is the low key version and I decide actually that I want to make it more blue it's done, I don't have to do anything else, which is very beneficial when, when you want to compare different styles of grade or different grades to the same shot. One last thing is that if you come to a split screen on and off, by default, it will compare all the current versions. So you see this is version one, two, three, and four.